Hi guys, how are you doing today? In this video, we take a look at Jira REST API as I pointed out at the end of the last video. So in this video, we will uh, look into the GET request as well as the POST request. For GET request, we will uh, send a GET request um, to the Jira REST API to get the information from each uh, particular uh, story or issue. While for the post request, we will use a postman to send post requests to create the Jira issues or the Jira story. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, first of all, we take a look at this uh, website uh, from the Jira server developer. Um, so uh, just quickly go through this page uh, to get an overview of what um, Jira API look like uh, for the uh, structure and stuff. So using the REST API, uh, we have this information we're going to send through um, using the one in the data in JSON objects. So here, um, this is the ordering you might not get an idea of uh, what this is but uh, we will go into this uh, starting from scratch so here uh, this is just the uh, field input format so say for the summary this is the format of this while for the component you can see that the format is completely different this will just uh, get the um, string or the data directly into the particular uh, field but for this one here it's in the array format so um, we need to uh, look into and remember this as well. So uh, I will also show you how to create the component and how to get the information from the Jira uh, API, the get request. And here uh, we have more information uh, for the custom field. I also show you how to get the custom field as well. And um, this is the example. So uh, for this one, it just, um, Contain, uh, basically the information will be used uh, with the post uh, request um, so it got the field projects ID so ID is the ID of the uh, of the projects I'll show you how to get this as well so the summary basically this is the Jira title and this is the description also with the issue type so issue type normally it contains uh, three uh, three values it has the bug, it has the uh, story or task. Um, so this is the terminal. We can also run uh, the command uh, using the terminal as well, uh, the CURL the, or the curve. So um, there's a lot more here. Uh, now let's just take a look at this one. This provide the more example for Jira REST API. So creating an issue, um, we can so also use the uh, create uh, metadata. Uh, I, I will show you um, how to use this one to get the uh, hidden fields or uh, visible fields and stuff. Uh, for this one, it say it did mention that uh, Jira was an earlier than eight point four. Creating an issue is as simple as making a pull request with this. Uh, so you will need to know the certain uh, metadata like the idea of the projects and the issue we're creating. So you will use this uh, for all across all projects using the uh, create uh, meta resource. Okay, so um, there's a lot more here. So basically for this one, um, this is the URL that we will use to access the Jira API. And uh, so you can see that this is the Jira slash two, which uh, refer to uh, version two. Uh, we will also look into the version three as well. And I'll show you in a minute. And here, this is the example of creating an issue using the project ID and issue type ID with this uh, subtask. There's a lot more. So this uh, different field. Uh, editing can also be done through using the uh, editing issue with the uh, put uh, operation or put request. Sorting, updating multiple field, adding a comment can also be done. Searching. Let me just scroll through to see 
any information that I wanted to show you I think that's pretty much it yep uh, so now let's just scroll back and uh, let's get into it I'm going to show you how to uh, get uh, which mean this one right here so I will just copy this and then see what information that we can see from that and uh, right now we are focusing only on the um, cloud versions while on the other hand this one here we also have the Jira server platform rest API for the for the Jira server uh, version uh, in this case we are running on the uh, local 8 uh, at, at and see if um, this video if it's uh, not taking too long then I'll also show you how uh, this one works as well it's a little bit different from the cloud version but again, we'll see uh, how much time it takes for this video to finish. Uh, if uh, we still got time, uh, I'll also show you how to use this one as well. Okay, so uh, for this one, I might not go in detail at the moment. Uh, let's just focus only on the cloud versions. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this page and try to copy this. And what we need to do, just uh, delete the, this part and then just uh, press enter all right so here we have access to the Jira REST API uh, so in this case uh, when we are using or accessing the create meta we get this information like the issue type with the ID description name and here uh, for this one this is the type as task so this is the ID for this uh, issue type and we also have the uh, ID type for the this one as well. This is the subtask. So for the story or for the bug with this uh, ID, they all have different ID. This is the Apex. So um, in this uh, URL, we can only get uh, this information, which is a little bit um, not complete. Um, so we will also look again uh, into how to get all of the hidden fields and also all of the visible field uh, how to get that so um, right now we um, right now we have that so for the other one I'm going to show you which is this uh, one right here this is the link um, so I'm going to copy this link right here uh, you might not get uh, the information or may, may not understand what I'm doing right now but uh, again uh, we understand that in a little bit uh, after I go into um, step by step on using the postman all right so for this one um, the same uh, similar link create metadata but what we need is to have the Jira uh, the project key equal to the uh, project key but right here this is just only for the example uh, we will also need to know how to get our own project key as well uh, for the this one here the uh, issue type uh, equal to bug probably I don't need this one we only need the expense equal to projects issue type so I will copy this link uh, con by pressing ctrl C or right here yep uh, that basically a, a good one uh, we can also get the project key from here as well but uh, let now just uh, copy this and then let me just uh, go back to see where can we find the information for the project key so here you can see the very first um, method is basically coming into your projects uh, directory and then you will see this directly so this is our project key uh, HLT so uh, or you can also press or go inside this uh, project as well and to see the uh, project key so here it is from the url itself you can also see this information which says equal key equal to uh, hlt so this is um, the one and we need this information and um, from what uh, you can see from the REST API a uh, minute ago, uh, you can also see the information that I point out uh, in that field as well. So now let's just go uh, paste the link that I just uh, copy, which is this one here, if you still remember. Um, so now let me just refresh this with the uh, actual uh, uh, 
project key uh, it's HLT so when I press enter so here you can see that this will include all of the field um, that we want to uh, let's say if you're looking for a custom field but you are not sure what the ID of that custom field or the name of it then this is the link uh, you can just come here and see so here we have the issue type as well with the name uh, with the component so here this is the component uh, description custom field so this include the custom field uh, as I mentioned uh, there's a lot more the fixed versions uh, priority uh, label a lot there's a lot so um, you can take time and looking into this uh, most of them are quite similar um, so let me just uh, go back and then try another one so right now we are using the version 2 uh, so let's say I want to try using the 3 does it actually work alright so here you can see that for the cloud version uh, it also support with the version 3 as well and um, uh, right now let's just uh, use or stick with the uh, version 3 and then we look into on the local version or the uh, Jira server whether to see if uh, the version 3 actually work on that or not and now let's just uh, keep with this or uh, stick with the version 3 on the cloud versions which is this is the uh, let test uh, Jira API uh, for these uh, versions okay so now um, we have all of this open and uh, I think let me just open this one in this uh, page so that we can just um, in case we want to see the information or try to get the uh, use the get request all right so now let's just take a look at using the get request um, so in this uh, here we can see the uh, Spring one we have the this story inside the Spring one so develop search functionality we need to also know what the key for this story so here uh, basically we can just see it right away uh, HLT dash one which is the key for this particular uh, story and this one is the build about page we have different key as you can see here um, so for this one in the backlog it also has its own key as well uh, but if you want to see uh, what about the apex does it has its own uh, key as well so let me just uh, quickly uh, click on this one here and here you can see that uh, we also see that uh, this is the key for this uh, apex uh, let me just quickly go back here let me just all right so now uh, when I click on this and when I click on the uh, epics we can also get the value from here as well so when I click on this so here it just open up this in a new page with this information all right so now um, enough of this let's just go back and to see how to use the get request on a uh, this one right here which is the uh, story number one uh, the search functionality all right so what I need to do just place this with the rest last API slash uh, 3 which is using the version 3 or you can also use the latest here as well I'm gonna go with the version 3 slash issue slash here it is the key for this uh, story now let's just uh, hit enter key to enter inside here with the API so we have the ID we have the key which is here uh, we have uh, fields so uh, this is the category change date with this date uh, the issue type with this key description so this is the description the name this is the basically the story uh, uh, type story the projects uh, we have this information key uh, the name the project key, uh, type key uh, fixed versions a lot more resolution uh, date custom fields 
different custom field here. Uh, issue link. So it says that a, this one is cloned by uh, this one. Uh, the summary, the Rob search functionality, priority, this is medium. As you can see that we get a lot of information from just hitting this uh, endpoint. Uh, we have the email address, which is uh, this email, the reporter, this is the reporter. We have comments, votes, work log. As you can see that there's a lot of information here. Now let me just uh, quickly go uh, one to another one, which is uh, slash uh, project to see what we get here. Okay, so when I click on uh, press this uh, URL, you can see that we basically get a quick overview of what the project is all about. So this is the key. This is the name of it. This is the uh, project type key, which is software. Uh, type classic. This is not private at all. So here, that uh, pretty much how we get the information uh, through using this. Now, if you still remember, uh, I also show you the epic link. So now let's just hit that. So it HLT does number three, which is the epics. Uh, it's this is uh, not the same as the one I just show you, which was the story. Okay, so here this is the. Uh, see if we have here. So here, the story uh, issue type. This is the name, which is Apex. It's not the same as the one, which was the story. And then uh, we have this information with the custom field, uh, status, uh, name, to do. So right now, it's still in to do for this Apex. Um, components creator who create this uh, apex so here we have the information here display name time zone as well here you can see so um yep that's uh, just a brief in uh, overview into this one here and now let me just show you how to uh, basically use the postman to do the same thing for the get request and then we will look into the uh, using the post request so now let me just open the postman first and then uh, see how we can connect this one because right here it does require the login access to be able to see this but for the postman we will also need to uh, use our uh, create green soul as well okay so here you can see that uh, i just quickly create the jira on cloud api which the same endpoint here the rest api slash uh, three issue slash d uh, for story which is the search functionality and now uh, now let's just uh, quickly click on or press the send button to see what happened okay so here you can see that the basic uh, authentication with the password is deprecated because the cloud version does require us to use the uh, one which is the uh, token API the token key uh, but now let's just uh, quickly look into the authorization so to see what I uh, put the information here okay so here uh, by default uh, it select as a uh, no off but here we need to choose the uh, basic off okay so then uh, what about the username basically this is the uh, one the email that you sign in the first time you use uh, the cloud version and also um, want to point out that uh, for the cloud version normally you just use the uh, email to log in while on the cloud version we can basically just use a uh, username itself it's not the email now let's just uh, go back again and then see this is the password but uh, the thing is that we can't use this directly it's already uh, deprecated so what we need to do basically just uh, copy this link and then paste this right here first one all right so here it says that uh, for the cloud version uh, right now we got to use the uh, API token okay so now let's just quickly search on this one here all right so um, I just search for the uh, word 
uh, Jira API tokens on Google, then uh, the first link, just click on that one. You will link to this URL. And then here, uh, basically, it just show us how to uh, generate or create the API token for the uh, Jira Cloud version. So now let me just quickly uh, open this in a new link. And uh, we can just click on the API, the label, and then uh, we can just copy this. And then we can use this uh, credential to put into the postman to be able to access or use the uh, get request. Okay, so now let's just here, uh, I'll reopen that. So you can see that right now we don't have any of this. We can create with uh, up to a maximum of 25 token at a time. So now let's just click on this. And then uh, I'm going to name this uh, Jira on cloud um, API token. Just call it as this. And here it is. We have already generated a new API token. I just click on this to copy. Um, so this is this. Now let me just. All right. So once I paste the token here. Let me just quickly click on this to see if we actually uh, have the connection to the Jira cloud. Let me just click this again. Okay, so here you can see that it tried to send requests and we get the response from this here as well. So that means that it's successful. Now let me just uh, quickly show you that as well. So here we have all of the information which is the same as the one that I show you when we try to enter this on the uh, using the Chrome browser directly. So here it is. Um, I think that's a good one. Now what about the next step? Okay, so the next step here, uh, I'll show you how to use or how to uh, create an issue using the post request. So to do that, let me just um, quickly go to this uh, example page here. Okay, so here this uh, provide us the uh, create an issue uh, example. Um, we are going to use this input right here. Okay, so uh, basically what you need to do, just copy the value here that include the uh, project with the key. So you need to replace this with your own key. So in this case, mine is the um, HLT. Uh, and then the summary can be anything and the issue type, uh, you can just put this as bug or story or it can be task. So now let's just uh, do that. Uh, just go back to the postman and then here inside the body, just press on that. So by default, it shows this as none. Uh, you can just press on the uh, raw and then select uh, by default this is a text you can just choose this as JSON so that you can see this colorful text all right so here uh, we have this information that uh, we are about to send the information uh, through the post request uh, we have the uh, projects with the key uh, summary description uh, saying this create using the project key and also the issue type with the issue type of the uh, story. Okay, so um, the Jira REST API via the uh, postman. Now let's just uh, hit on the send button to see if we get um, the success uh, message or the error message. But remember that right now we are using the uh, version 3. Let me just uh, click on the send button here. So you can see that um, the operation must be with this uh, document. Uh, seen or uh, because we are using the uh, version 3 that's a reason why we get this so for this one it mentioned about the description so we have to use the format for the version 3 so instead of uh, taking this uh, value directly a string then uh, I need to change the format to this one here so here this is the format for the description uh, we have uh, we need to have the type we have the version the content as paragraph with the type here again, uh, also the text. So um, there's a lot of information here, but uh, now let's just try it again. Hit on the send button. All right, so here uh, we get this information, meaning that it's successful. Now let's just go back to our Jira. And then uh, let me try to refresh this to see if it stay on the uh, backlog. 
All right, so here it is, uh, the Jira REST API. When I click on this one here, here you can see that um, this is the Jira API. We are the Postman description, just description, because in the Postman, uh, here we see that the text is description. Of course, you can just change this to something else that you want. Say uh, this uh, Jira issue we created. Let me just quickly do that now. Um, this Jira issue is creating using post request. Yep, just like that, I think. And then uh, just hit on the send button again. So this will create another one, which is this key, uh, dash number nine. Let's just go back and see right here. We only have two in the backlog. When I refresh that, we should be able to see the uh, third one. All right, so here it is the same um, summary uh, because I haven't changed this one yet. So this is number nine. You can see that the description saying that it's created using the post request. So that how it works. So see what else inside this uh, here. We have the epic link. We haven't um, uh, assigned the epic link yet. The component sprint fix version as well. So um, that's basically how we do it. But I think that uh, if you just get started with this uh, REST API, uh, I might suggest that probably just go with the uh, version 2 because that's quite straightforward. Let me just uh, show you with using the version 2 as well. So for the description, it just take this value directly. Okay, so uh, here I say that um, this Jira issue is created using um, would say Jira REST API version 2, just like that. And then uh, try it again. Okay, so here you can see that the version 2 is quite straightforward using this format only. And we created using this uh, uh, with this link uh, with the uh, dash number 10, which is the key for this uh, story. Again, let me just refresh this page. All right, so here it is. Uh, we have all the same um, Jira summary right now. The rest Jira REST API via Postman, but uh, should be fine. So here it is. Uh, you can see that the description for this one, uh, Jira issue is created using the Jira REST API version 2. Uh, the same with the value here. So we have all of this information. So um, that's basically how we create the Jira um, issue using the Postman uh, via the uh, Jira REST API. Okay, so uh, what's next is uh, I think I'm going to also assign the uh, Apex link here as well. Okay, so now let's just uh, quickly see uh, the Apex link here. Uh, it should be uh, HLT dust number three. So let me just expand this. So yep, that's the one. Uh, we need to also look uh, how to assign this here as well. Let me just uh, quickly open the uh, all the field. All right, so here I have opened this link that I showed you early in this video. Now let's just uh, quickly search for the Apex. Apex, so here it is, uh, the Apex link. You can see that the Apex, it doesn't take like uh, this name with the uh, name directly like summary, description, or issue type. Instead, uh, here you can see that it used the custom field. So that means that we have to also use this one as well. So this is the Apex link uh, using the custom field with this ID here. So now let's just uh, copy that and then put it underneath the story type. So I'm going to paste that here and the value. Um, so here, the value uh, for the uh, epic link, the key that I show you, which was only tag does 03. This is the epic link, meaning that once I hit this uh, send button, it will also assign the epic link to the story as well. So now let me just change the title or the, the summary. 
um, Jira REST API, uh, we are the postman with the just dash epic link just like that and then uh, just hit the send button so we create another one right here let me just uh, go back and then close this with the epic link let me refresh this again cool so uh, let me just quickly click on this to see if the epic link actually assigned to it there we have it so here it is it assigned to the epic link here as well or we can quickly just see it right here so um that's pretty much uh, for the cloud version how we get the information from the using the get request and also the post request using the postman um i think that uh i might also look a little bit into the uh, uh, Jira server version as well and it won't take long as the one that I show you early in the video because most of the things are pretty much the same thing and uh, let me just uh, quickly get into this one then okay so now let's just take a look at this uh, Jira server platform uh, REST API so this one we are using the latest version which is the 8.10.0 um, to know that whether this link is actually the latest one, let me just go and hit this link here. So here, this is the index of all the file. Uh, let me just scroll down to the latest one. And here this is, uh, it says that the latest, just click on this one here. So once I click on the link, it just open up this link again, which is the version, uh, the latest version. Now let's just uh, quickly look again into this. Uh, we have the getting started, authentication, URL structure, expansion, which is very similar. Um, here, the resources, we have the API, the version 2. So for the uh, Jira server running right uh, currently, I'm running on the uh, local host uh, using the uh, version 2 and then we need to also try to see if it actually support the version 3 or not so uh, we have the attachment we have the avatar cluster component um, custom field with the filter group issue this is how we create an issue with this endpoint here using this um, with the information, this is the example like uh, assignee, reporter, a lot more here. The component basically, we can just come here and then try to follow the format, or we can just uh, see the format straight away from here as well. So, uh, this is the custom field, and we might also get the uh, success. Uh, response so this is the example if not if it shows something like this with the status of 400 and uh, there's a lot more here assign so this is how we assign so I won't go in detail for each one of this just uh, pretty much scroll through and then um, see if you can find something that you might be interested this is the version uh, workflow so yep that uh, the resources or references for this uh, Jira server platform and now let me just quickly go here and uh, you can see that for this Jira server version we are using the username to log in for the password and then uh, let's just log in because this uh, username is very important in case if you are uh, unaware of this then you are using the um, email as your login detail then you would not be able to send a pull request or get a request so uh, just keep this in mind and then just click on the login button all right so here i am inside my projects and then now let's just try to uh, access the 
uh, REST API for this uh, Jira server. Now here it is. This is the one uh, I already hit this uh, URL REST slash API slash tool slash projects. We get this information, which is the key uh, with name here as well. Okay, so um, let me just quickly try using the version three to see if it actually working. So slash three project. So here you can see that once I hit this uh, URL, it says that uh, you found a dead link. So basically that this doesn't recognize at all for the cloud versions, only support with the uh, cloud versions. So uh, I might probably just go back or maybe just wait until this finish to show you what it actually showing. So here it is. Uh, basically, it just show you that uh, this is just a dead link. Now let me just uh, go back to the version two. This is the one, and then uh, slash the field. We can also see all this field, or maybe uh, I can try to access to see all of the um, right here. Just copy this to see all of the both uh, visible and hidden field. Um, change this to the number two and then the project key for this uh, versions it's not uh, HLT it is uh, JLO uh, stand for Jira on local and let's try hit this uh, URL so here it is uh, it seemed to work fine uh, we have the uh, name the key the id and uh, pretty much the same things um yep so now let me just try to hit another one probably the this one here the first uh, issue or let's just see here develop search functionality with this key right here and then uh, let me just do it now which this one here when I hit this information we can see that uh, description created by Jira software uh, probably not this one this is only for the uh, story uh, issue type which is story and then here this is the description as a user I want to have the ability to search for specific information and then uh, let me just open this in a new link and there we have it so here this is the description uh see what else um the projects uh, yep uh resolution custom field the summary which is search funds now uh here the title here um what else the love you this is the date creator priority which is medium uh, we have the custom field basically this one uh, this is the uh, epics I believe now let's just see that so one I click on this one here so you can also see it here as well so yep that's uh, this is the epics but if you still remember the different field for this one and um, for the cloud version is different. I believe that this is different for all of the projects. So here, let's just quickly see this. So this is on the cloud versions. We have this number while on the uh, this local or the Jira server, then we have this one. Um, yep, that's, that's it. Um, let me just quickly use the postman to do the request and probably just having a quick look again to see if I miss something. Yep, that should be good to go. Um, all right, so um, here I also create another one here as well. So uh, this one, it used the Jira get request and then with this information, uh, the link, which is 8080, uh, running on local uh, rest api does two issue this is the uh, is first issue and then in the authorization here i have the username 
So uh, again, just wanted to point out, let me just go back here and then go to the authorization. So here, this one, we are using the email while uh, this one, the server, we are using the uh, username. And I might be able to also show you the uh, password here as well. So this is the password for the one on local, Jira on local PW. And then uh, once we have this, then uh, also we'll be using the uh, basic off. Now let's just uh, click on the send button to see if we can actually, yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, we have the information getting from this, which is the one that I just show you. The same thing, same information. Okay, so now let me also show you how to do the post request. And here inside the body, pretty much the same thing for the uh, project. The, this is the key. And then summary, Gerardis API, uh, probably just change the summary to something else. Say on local, we are postman creating an issue using the project key and issue type. So this one, we haven't assigned the epics or maybe probably the component, but then uh, let's just try this one out first. So, yep, just click on the send button. All right, so here it says that the method not allow. The reason is that, remember that to remove this uh, endpoint, this is the uh, post request endpoint. Let's just try it again. Click on the send button. So here we have it uh, with this uh, key. Let's just uh, go back here and then uh, quickly refresh this to see if it actually created and stay inside the backlog. And yep, here it is. Uh, we have this one created. So we have um, Jira REST API on local. We have Postman, um, Reporter, creating this. And um, yep, uh, component, nope, we have an assign. Let me create another one. Uh, assign the uh, epic link. Um, so seeing that, let me just go back here. All right, so to get to the epic link, uh, the idea again, let me just uh, go to this link and then search for the epic. So the custom field, which is this one, I just need to copy this. And right here, um, just put this and then the epic link. What is the value for this one? So here, this is the epics and the key, which is can be found here as well. Just copy that, put it here. And in this case, I'm going to change this to Jira REST API on local via Postman with Epic link. Click on the send button. Create another one. Just go back here, try to refresh this again. Alright, so this is the one. Uh, we have the GRRS API on local via Postman with the Epic link. So here, this is the Epic link. We assign to that. And uh, this is the date uh, with the description and stuff so yep um that's we quickly look into the um, cloud version how to use this uh, cloud uh, rest api as well as the server rest api so it's a little bit different uh, while for the uh, cloud version it does support the version 3 and also for the uh, username uh, and the password so for the password uh, we have to also generate the uh, token uh, token key while for the uh, version or the uh, server version we only or we can just use the uh, password that we used to sign into the 
um, the server versions uh, directly we don't need to generate any uh, token key at all just use that straight away and also we only need to use the uh, version 2 so the, those are the difference so I guess that pretty much it's for the tutorial it take uh, I know it's longer than a usual video but uh, I just want to include everything and uh, comparing between uh, like these two what are the differences and then uh, how can we use to um, use the REST API to uh, get the information from that and how to use that with the Postman so uh, the purpose of using Postman is that uh, in the probably in the next video we also use the same concept but instead of using the Postman we apply it to in case say uh, React or probably JavaScript then uh, that's uh, the path that we are uh, now look into and that's it for the tutorial if you find this video valuable then don't forget to hit the like button and also let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions until then see you guys in the next video stay safe